Hey everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, today is the first Tuesday of the month, which means it's time for Tuesday with Thomas. This is when Tommy Balsamic, the CVO, Chief Vinegar Office of Office, Chief Vinegar Officer of California Balsamic comes on the show and demonstrates three recipes using one flavor of California Balsamic vinegar. And these recipes are submitted by you, the viewers. And if they're chosen, you get some free bottles. Everybody can get some free bottles simply by placing any size order and leaving my name, Chef AJ, in the order notes, which appear during checkout. And you get two any flavor you want of the tiny bottles, 1.6 ounce. They're not that tiny, but they're not the big bottles either, but they are delicious. And if you watch me regularly, every Wednesday, I put a new recipe video up. It's called Weight Loss Wednesday. And tomorrow I have a recipe using the teriyaki balsamic vinegar that's going to knock your socks off. It is a teriyaki mushroom mushu. But without further ado, we have the CVO, Tommy Balsamic. Today, he's going to be using recipes that are made with raspberry flame, I believe, or is it the regular raspberry? Hey, Tommy, how are you? Hi, Chef. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. We've been off the air two months. It feels like two years since we've Hi, uh, had a broadcast together, but uh, all is well now. And we're using the raspberry flame today, a little bit spicy raspberry balsamic. Now, what we do is we take our raspberry balsamic and then we take uh, some fresh habaneros, put them in the juicer and juice the habaneros. And that juice we pour into the raspberry balsamic to give it a nice kick. It's not crazy hot, but it's a little hotter than I care for personally. I am a spice wimp from Michigan originally. So uh, I think that it's a little spicier than I care for. I'm a fan of the sweet heat, which is nice and mild for spice wimps. But uh, that's our flavor this month is raspberry flame. And uh, we've got some fun recipes, a couple of them from my darling bride, Ethel, and another one from our friend, Kathy Fisher. So all is good. Kathy Fisher submitted? That's amazing. Well, no, she didn't actually submit it. We went into her book, uh, Straight Up Foods, and there is a page where it tells you, take any of uh, an ingredient from this column, this column, this column. So customize your own dressing. And so Ethel went in there and said, oh, we can do this. Let's take one of these, something from this column, this column, this column, and bingo, we made a wonderful dressing. We took it to work today and let people try it. And we had uh, people at work saying, oh, this is good. So when, uh, when our customer, when our, uh, when our employees at work really like something, they tell us, and the dressing there is super easy. One of the girls is diabetic, and she said, oh, I can have this. This is really good. So we're, we're excited about uh, coming back and joining you with another broadcast. Wow. Yeah, it's been too long. You've, so got gone new, through you've, the, had, you've had new flavors come out since we've last seen each other. We have. We came out, uh, let's see, crisp cucumber balsamic came out uh, in December. So we did that one, nothing but cucumber puree in that. And uh, people who like cucumbers love it on their salads. It is a big seller. And then the wild huckleberry came out in November. We almost immediately sold out. And because of the supply chain issue and blah, 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 we couldn't make it for almost uh, six weeks. So we had to, to you know, take it off of our website. We took off about six flavors during the Christmas, December period because we couldn't get our balsamic from Italy like it was supposed to come in and since then the supply chain has cleared up a little bit but there's still problem with glass and balsamic coming in so uh, the wild huckleberry is back in stock and as you know chef you asked me to put that into the uh, chef aj sampler along with the smoked hickory so now the the sampler is now new and improved love it hey i, so, I, I hope people can see what your shirt says Oh, listen. Now, my darling bride over Christmas, she went and got me some uh, nice polyester shirts that feel like silk. And then she had put on there with vinyl, Tommy Balsamic uh, is, is on my shirt here. And I thought, 
that is just the cutest thing that uh, she could have done for me. And oh, she gave me two of them and I just love them. So when we go to uh, events in the future where I'll be at either a festival uh, or something, then I'll have my Tommy Balsamic shirt. If I can ever get to a vegan festival, oh, I'll be so excited to uh, attend one of those. So hopefully sometime this year. So we'll see. But we're not doing very many shows this year because so many of them are still canceled. Um, and some of them just uh, because the promoters either went out of business, they just decided that, sorry, these shows are canceled permanently. So the whole festival industry has taken a, a, a major turn. And I think it's going to be several years before it gets back to where it was pre-pandemic. But like a lot of things, everything changes uh, when you have this kind of situation. But we'll... Uh, We'll work through it. We'll just go to a handful, eight or 10 shows this year and and uh, do our best. So all is good. Yeah. And who gave you that wonderful name, Tommy Balsamic? I believe it was a young lady, a very attractive young lady, Chef AJ, <laughs> I believe. <laughs> I love it. I mean, you know, there's Tommy Bahama. I think there should be Tommy Balsamic. I was curious if there was a, a new comedy class uh, being uh, done right now, uh, because uh, that's where it happened out there during the class with uh, Linda Middlesworth and the rest of the gang here and Diane Devon. So uh, we had a, a great class and all of a sudden Chef AJ coined the term Tommy Balsamic and I've loved it ever since. Yeah, there, there is a class going on right now, but we had to skip that, this one just because we're so busy. Yeah, yeah, not surprised here. So all is well. But anyway, back on to the action here. Um, our first recipe uh, is a, uh, a, a spicy raspberry dressing. This is the one from Kathy Fisher's book. And um, what we've done is we've taken uh, a cup of raspberries. And you can use fresh, uh, preferably fresh, frozen if, you, if they're not in season. A tablespoon of water, three tablespoons of our raspberry flame, balsamic. Uh, a tablespoon of finely chopped onions or shallots, if you like. A tablespoon of mustard. You can use SOS free Dijon or stone ground. An eighth of a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And finally, a couple tablespoons of date syrup. Now we place all of the ingredients, the raspberries, water, balsamic, shallots, mustard, syrup, and uh, pepper into a blender and blended it was until it was smooth and creamy. And my darling bride, she's got one of the, uh, uh, the Cuisinart, or is it the bullet? No, it's a Vitamix. This is a Vitamix. So this is one of the wonderful things. She put everything into the container here and then pop this on top. And for a smaller amount, if there's just one or two, and then pop that into the Vitamix and blended it, worked like a charm. So um, I had not seen this adapter on there to make a smaller amount. And it really did work very, very well. So um, that's something you can get at your friendly Costco. And that's how we did it. And uh, here's the, the finished results for that. And you can see how smooth and creamy this is for the raspberry dressing that is absolutely delicious. And I find because of all the other ingredients, it's okay for my taste um, uh, using this. It's not too hot for me. And uh, if you wanted to put this on to start and then just before you're enjoying yourself, if you wanted to make it a little spicier, then just a little drizzle of the raspberry flame by itself to finish it. And that'll give it a little extra kick if you like things a little bit spicier. I know a lot of people like spicy salads. Chef, what's your opinion on spicy salads? I, know, I can, I like them spicy, but I, don't, I like them not spicy too. So I can go either way, but it sounds delicious. There you are. It's a winner out there. So that's a super easy uh, dressing that you can do. And in, in, in uh, Kathy's book out there, the, there's so many possibilities because there's how many um, uh, ingredients in each column, Ethel? You know, there were just, you know, eight to 10 different ingredients in. Uh, so she's got several pages of how to make your own customized dressing, which is something that I absolutely been, well, we've been doing that for years, making customized dressing. So uh, we'll continue doing that. And thank you, Kathy. You don't know it, but you're getting two bottles. <laughs> so wow. there's number one. That's amazing. Okay, so now the next one here is a vegetable farro salad. And now we started off with three tablespoons of our raspberry flame balsamic. And then we did a clove of garlic chopped, 
a medium white onion chopped, a red pepper diced, a zucchini diced, a yellow squash diced, uh, one and a half cups of mushroom diced, and six asparagus spears chopped up. Now, we, we made one cup of farro in two, table, in two cups of uh, sodium-free vegetable broth. Now, cook the farro as directed on the bag with your vegetable broth. And then while the farro is cooking, uh, prepare the vegetables. Now you can either saute them in water or you can put them into the um, air fryer and roast them at super high temperatures. Both of them take you know, only uh, five, 10 minutes most to do that. That's super easy. And all we've done is we've uh, combined the farro and the vegetables into a bowl. We added the three tablespoons of the raspberry flame and mixed it well. And we put it on a bed of greens of your choice. Today we used uh, some baby spinach. And here is the finished results here. And that's just a super easy, wonderful filling because farro is really makes you feel full. And um, that is going to be lunch today. Thank you very much. So as soon as we're done here, we're gonna munch on this bad boy. It's gonna get, it's gonna disappear in a hurry. Um, this is something that uh, we love making up these vegetables with grains, something that we do all the time. And um, we'll continue enjoying it for years to come. Hey, Tommy Balsamic, I just wanna read a nice comment from Susan in the chat. Sure. I have loved every flavor I've bought so far. I can't even pick a favorite. I'm eating the curry right now on my jackfruit salad. Cucumber is awesome in my sparkling water. Oh, Susan, you rock. Thank you so much. That's a wonderful. So what we're always asking people to do is to leave, to put comments in our the comment um, box on our website, leaving a review. And you'll see the little review uh, button just below the picture on every page of every flavor, you can leave a comment because we lost all of our comments years ago, a couple of years ago when we changed our from our old website to our new one, we couldn't bring over the 1500 uh, re uh, reviews that we had on there. We lost them all. Oh, it's just killing me not having uh, so many reviews because people want to read reviews. So thank you, Susan. That was very no, sweet no, of you. You didn't have a good tech guy? Well, the, the company that was doing it couldn't do it. They said that we can bring everything over from the old site, but we just cannot bring the reviews. And we were yeah. bummed. I think we maybe we have four or 500 now, uh, but we it's nowhere near the 1,500 that we lost. So we just keep asking people, leave reviews. Even if there's something, you know, we had a review for somebody who didn't much care for the chocolate. She didn't know how to use it. And, um, and so that review is on our site now as well. So we'll put them all on there, no matter what. So that's the, the super easy farro salad. I like that. Now, um, we left off our story um, a couple of months ago when we came back and then I decided that I was gonna move to uh, Japan, which I ended up doing back in uh, 1989, I think it was, I moved to Tokyo. And in doing so, I stayed at the YMCA the very first night because I had no, I had $5,000 in my pocket of which to live on for I don't know how long until I found a job. Um, and I stayed the first night at a YMCA. It was near $200, which was so expensive, but it had nowhere else to stay. The very next day, I found a, a, a room in what's called a gaijin house, a foreigner's home. And it was like a dormitory. There were 35 rooms in this dormitory. 50 people were living in it. And everyone shared the same bathrooms, the same showers. There were only two showers for 50 people, never unusual in the morning and early uh, evening that there might be eight or 10 people in line waiting to take a shower. And uh, there was one kitchen with five refrigerators. That meant there were 10 people per refrigerator that you were sharing and people trying to cook in there. It was a madhouse all the time. And people were from all over the world. Uh, who were working. And this was generally a temporary place until you found a real apartment or a small house and shared with someone. And I lived in this uh, same uh, foreigner's home for 14 months, which was a lot longer than most people did. And it was a real experience. So after several months, I found a job teaching English. 
But then I realized that there was a lot of work modeling. And so I would just go to a modeling agency. They would take a little Polaroid picture. And, um, and I was in a, a Nissan commercial. I was a movie extra. I did still photography. Um, and they said, if you have a proper headshot and full body shot, you can get a lot more work. So I decided, why not? I went back to Hawaii where I'd been living and had a photographer um, and a fellow who I knew who also was a model, he gave me the number of his uh, photographer. And this is the headshot that we came up with. I'm not sure if you can see this very well, but uh, that's the shot that I had of me out there. And then the backside oh had, had that. You, look like, an, you I, look like a soap star, but where's the H in Thomas? In Japanese, it's Thomas. T-O-M-A-S. And so even though the name was misspelled, uh, you know, I did that on purpose because it's dramatically easier for Japanese people to see that and say, oh, Tomas. And that's how they would pronounce my name. So I said, eh, forget the H. That'll be make it easier. And on here, it says that I'm 180 centimeters tall and I weigh 75 kilograms. You know, what is that now? I'm sure I was significantly thinner <laughs> back then. But um, this is the very last of, the, of all the headshots that I had made. And uh, I, I was um, dating a young lady back then named Bonnie. And when I got back to Australia with all these headshots ready to work in Tokyo for the next couple of years, she had taken all of our possessions and moved to Osaka. And when I got back to Tokyo, I didn't have a room in the foreign, in the Gaijin house that I thought that I was still living in. And says, oh no, we're leaving tonight to drive to Osaka where we've got an apartment all ready to go down there. And I went, surprise and thus was the end of my modeling career <laughs> that never started oh, and all these yeah. headshots kind of went to waste because uh, there's a huge amount of work in tokyo for foreigners to be in uh, modeling and commercials but none in osaka and that was the end of that so i got a big giggle out of going oh my career ended before it started so that was that and the rest to be continued in the future so that was a lot of fun. All right, so finally, we have our uh, last uh, recipe here today, and it's a uh, zesty raspberry fruit salad. And now here's the dressing part. Two tablespoons of raspberry flame, or really any California fruit balsamic is, is fine. Uh, one and a half teaspoons of date syrup, one and a half teaspoons of orange juice, a half a cup of silken tofu, and one half teaspoon of poppy seeds, optional. Uh, we put all of the ingredients in a container and blended it until it was smooth. Now I wanted to show you the container that Ethel used, and I just think this is fabulous. It's a little Cuisinart. And Chef, have you seen this, these little guys before? Are you familiar with this one? They're adorable. So um, we put all the uh, ingredients in here and she clicked this little bad boy on here, plugged it in and then just buzzed it, you know, handheld it again and just buzzed it like that. It worked fantastic. If you have a little bit more uh, chopping involved, you can put this attachment on there and it will, uh, and it just slides right off here. And then you can uh, buzz that and chop up some ingredients and the whole thing works beautifully well. Uh, all came in this cute little bag along with the motor and the two attachments and uh, this guy as well. Oh, this is a, uh, an attachment uh, that you can do for a, a nice small amount of there. And uh, it was something like less than $30 at Costco and Ethel has been using it like crazy. It's wonderful. So enough of that. Now for uh, the fruit, you can use really whatever you want, but we used... Uh, a half a cup of crushed canned pineapple, fresh is better. A uh, half a cup of uh, diced apple, half a cup of orange chunks, half a cup of raspberries, half a cup of grapes sliced, um, half a cup of shredded coconut, that's optional. Chef, I love fresh coconut right out of the, uh, out of the nuts. Um, but 
can, uh, you know, shredded coconut sticks in my teeth and I've never liked that. What's your opinion on coconut, Chef? Well, it's high in fat and high in saturated fats. So I try not to use it too much. And I do buy, a, I buy a low fat one when I use it. They have one that's been defatted. Sure. Okay. Um, when Ethel and I were on Maui a uh, uh, few, uh, several months ago, we uh, went to the Pukalani farmer's market up country and you have, there's a fellow to taking fresh coconuts and just splitting them open and they give you a kind of a, a little bizarre uh, coconut spoon and you just scoop out little chunks of uh, the fresh coconut right out of the nut and other one holy crap that was delicious so i thoroughly enjoyed that so anyway and we finished with uh, one kiwi uh, all diced up and you put all the fruit in the bowl and then you take your dressing that you've made and mix it up here and this is such a wonderfully easy fruit salad with the dressing and all the fruit and of course whatever fruit is in season is is the easiest way to make this and uh, that recipe is from a young lady ethel emma Climus, my darling bride. So that's another winner. So she did up the farro salad and the uh, fruit salad. So thank you, my darling bride. That was beautiful. Now, and, does she get uh, two free samples as well? She'll get four free bottles out there. <laughs> and she gets to sleep with the CVO. <laughs> Now that is a bonus. That's true. <laughs> That's right. Hey, here's You're a nice gonna make comment. somebody Here, blush. <laughs> here's a nice comment from Barbie. I just ordered last week. The week before shipping, I was called to make sure of my two samples. I had ordered one with oil by mistake and they caught it. Now that's service, and I'm looking forward to doing more business with CB. And I remember making that call to that young lady. She was going to try to get some electric lemon vinaigrette. And I said, I'm pretty sure she doesn't want that. So I gave her a quick call and we replaced it, of course, with the Simply Lemon. And she was a happy camper. So it just feels good to surprise people that we're actually going to call them. You know, if, hey, if something's wrong with an order, if they, we think that they've ordered something that they probably didn't want, well, we want to fix it, you know, uh, beforehand. And so it's just an easy thing to do. That's what, how I would want to be treated if I was working with a company. So we do that on a daily basis. So all is good. That's amazing. So what's next month's flavor? Next month's flavor is Seven Herb Italian, the all-time best-selling SOS free flavor we make. We were going to do that before. And so now please send us uh, your favorite uh, Italian recipe because we've been selling that for a year and a half now. And seven I know lots herbs. of people have their favorite recipes. I have yep. a lot, you know, I have seven, I have a lot of recipes on my, on my YouTube using seven herb. That's amazing. Seven herb. Whoa. Seven herb Italian out there. And that's going to be exciting because we're going to do that uh, the beginning of uh, March uh, I think it's March 1st again. Let me look. And who, um, who, who, who do they send it to? Who do they send the recipe to to be considered? Send it to uh, our email, orders at CaliforniaBalsamic.com. That's the easiest one to send it to. You know what, Thomas? We're uh, doing it the second week only because um, there's oh, something going on. So we're doing it because there's five Tuesdays in March. We're doing it March 8th, sure. 2 o'clock. Well, we're doing it a little okay. We're doing it at 2.30 that day, actually, because I teach for uh, one of the doctors. But yeah. We are doing this. All good. So send, send it okay, to, so it'll be on the second Tuesday. And when do they need to send it by? Oh, uh, by, the, by the end of February, because okay. we need to uh, practice making it. Got so it. Uh, as long as it's um, in the next four weeks, that's fine. No, so that'll no. be well. And um, at the end of February, the 27th, hey, that's my birthday on the 27th. So it'll be just you know, nine days after that. But it's not just any birthday. Oh, it's the 65th birthday. Oh, it's As of, get Medicare. Yay! It started today. So today is my first day of Medicare. I'm oh, so yes. happy. I'm going to go out and hurt myself out here somehow <laughs> so I can go to the hospital. Congratulations. <laughs> Susan. Maybe Sandler. I might... Mm -hmm. I might pull a muscle because of uh, bowling tonight, you know, and if I do, I'm covered with Medicare. I don't care. Uh, um, throw caution to the wind. Oh, boy. Susan says the coconut balsamic is great on fruit. 
Oh my gosh, is it ever? And yeah. mix a little bit of the pineapple with the coconut and you've got yeah, pina, pina colada. colada. That's it, right. Said, Thank um, you very much. Susan said last week when I did the uh, recipe using the lemon and lime vinegar in club soda to replace 7-Up, she laughed because she was doing that to replace gin and tonic. <laughs> Right. Oh, that's funny. So, hey, chef, uh, in uh, March, we are going to introduce another new flavor. This is a real simple one. And um, it's going to be, and we actually have labels for it already. Um, it's going to be called a Mandarin Orange Balsamic. What? And it'll be available. Um, it'll be it'll be available uh, at the beginning of March, but we're sending out samples, the 1.6 ounce little tiny sample bottles. You may ask for the Mandarin Orange now. Oh, because I, I just ordered today. yesterday. I hope you'll send me a small one so I can try it. Oh, your box is going out this afternoon, oh Jeff. God. So there'll be there'll be some in there. Trust me. Orange. I've got ideas already. Nice, 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 nice. So that'll happen. Uh, well, you'll get your box here in a couple of days. And uh, there'll be Mandarin Orange in it, guaranteed, or your money back. Oh, I can't wait. Well, thanks. It's <laughs> always fun spending time with Tommy Balsamic. I hope you'll come back to comedy one day. It will happen eventually. As soon as we're, as soon as the Ethel and I's lives are calmed down, then we'll be able to do that. But as of now, we're just stupid busy all the time. Well, that's good. Very good. Well, thanks so much, Thomas. It's always fun spending an afternoon with you. Thanks, Chef. My pleasure. So guys, get those recipes in for 7 Herb Italian. You too can win free bottles of California balsamic or just get free bottles by putting Chef AJ in the order notes after you place the order and ask for that new flavor mandarin orange for your sample. That sounds amazing. And I hope to see you guys back here in a few hours at 6 p.m. Pacific time when we continue with a week's worth of special shows for Black History Month, co-hosted by Dr. Columbus Batiste. And my guests tonight are John Badass Vegan and Jasmine Leva, both filmmakers and and both awesome. Bye, Tommy. Bye, Ethel. Bye, Patrick. Thanks, Chef. Take we'll care. see you guys soon.